Lesson 40 of the Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 40 Malgrau spite po ye Malgrau means in spite of, notwithstanding, as li succesis malgrau cio, he succeeded in spite of everything. Spite is a stronger expression than malgrau. It means in defiance of all opposition, despite, as li faris tion spite la mal permesso, he did that in spite of being forbidden. Po means at the rate of, as mi acetis dec duon da ovoi po unu penso. I bought a dozen eggs at the rate of a penny each. Po duone by halves. Po grande wholesale. Po malgrande retail. As already said, see Lesson 26, ye yeah is the only preposition which has no meaning of its own. It is used when a preposition is needed and none of the others properly express the idea, as la crucio estas plena ye acvo, or la crucio estas plena de acvo. The jug is full of water. Mi enuas ye la heimo. I am tired of home. Vocabulary. Mastrumajo. Household affairs. Mastrumajo. Fungo. Mushroom. Fungo. Senso. Sense. Meaning. Senso. Regulo. Rule. Regulo. Clarezzo, clearness, clarezzo. Accusativo, accusative, accusativo. Nobelezzo, nobility of birth, nobelezzo. Honoro, honor, honoro. Liberezzo, freedom, liberty, liberezzo. Culpo, fault, culpo. Simila, similar, like, simila. Comuna, common to, comuna. Cri, cry, cri. Sopir, sigh for, long for, sopir. Exemple, for example, exemple. Li multe laboris, sed malgrau cio li ne succesis. Estis ancora suffice varme, malgrau che la suno staris malalte. Ili esto severe punatae, se ili, malgrau la mal permesso, pecos contra le liberezzo de levoio. Spite ciui miae penui por mal helpi lin, li foriris. Por miae quar infanui mi acetis dec du pomoin. Cae al ciu el la infanoi, mi donis po tri pomoi. Iri povas costi po tri cis quin shilingoi. Tiu ci libro hava sestec pagioin. Tial se mi legos en ciu tago po dec quin pagioi, mi finos la tutan libron en quar tagoi. Mi ecetis quar libroin po ses pensoi. Ni estis nur occupita ye kelkai mastrumajoi. La construo estas simila ye fungo. Ili forcuris kiam la virino e cris ye ili. Ye la vespero la cielo covrigis ye nuboi. El timo ye caragara mi forcuris. Si estis tre fiera ye sia nobelezzo, la hundo sincere mal joyis ye li. 
neniu el ili estis tiel plena je deziroj kiel la plej juna knabino je vorto de honoro he worked hard but in spite of everything he did not succeed it was still fairly warm notwithstanding that the sun was low they will be severely punished if notwithstanding the prohibition they shall offend against the freedom of the road despite all my endeavours to prevent him he went away for my four children i bought twelve apples and to each of the children i gave at the rate of three apples they may cost three to five shillings each this book has sixty pages therefore if i shall read every day at the rate of fifteen pages i shall finish the whole book in four days i bought four books at sixpence each we were only engaged about some household affairs the structure is similar to a mushroom they ran away when the woman cried out at them in the evening the sky became covered with clouds for fear of karagara i ran away she was very proud of her high rank the dog sincerely mourned for him none of them was so full of desires as the youngest girl on word of honour forty a seni bezonas usi preposition kai la senso ne montras al ni kian preposition usi tiam ni povas usi la comunan preposition je sed estas bone Uzadi la vorton je kiel eble pli malofte. Anstataŭ la vorto je, ni povas ankaŭ uzi akuzativon sen prepozicio. Mi ridas je lia naiveco, aŭ mi ridas pro lia naiveco, aŭ mi ridas lia naivecon. Je la lasta fojo mi vidis lin ĉe vi, aŭ la lastan fojon. Mi veturis du tagojn kaj unu nokton. Mi sopiras je mia perdita feliĉo, aŭ mian perditan feliĉon. El la dirita regulo sekvas, ke se ni pri ia verbo ne scias, ĉu ĝi postulas post si la akuzativon, tio estas ĉu ĝi estas aktiva aŭ ne, ni povas ĉiam uzi la akuzativon. Ekzemple, ni povas diri obei al la patro kaj obei la patron, anstataŭ obei je la patro. Se ni ne uzas la akuzativon tiam, kiam la klareco de la senso tion ĉi malpermesas. Ekzemple, ni povas diri pardoni al la malamiko kaj pardoni la malamikon, se ni devas diri ĉiam pardoni al la malamiko lian kulpon. Key to exercise. If we need to use a preposition and the sense does not show us what preposition to use, then we can use the general preposition ye. Yeah. But it is well to use the word ye yeah as seldom as possible. Instead of the word ye, yeah, we can also use the accusative without a preposition. I laugh at his simplicity, or I laugh on account of his simplicity, or I ridicule his simplicity. The last time I saw him with you, I travelled two days and one night. I sigh for my lost happiness. From the said rule it follows that if we do not know, as to any verb, whether it requires the accusative case after it, that is, whether it is active or not, we can always use the accusative. For example, we can say, obey alla patro, and obey la patron, instead of obey je la patro. But we do not use the accusative when the clearness of the sense forbids it. For example, we can say, pardoni alla malamico, and pardoni la malamicon, but we must always say, Pardoni alla malamico lian culpon. End of lesson forty.